Hi everyone! In this video I decided to talk to you about Instagram and about how much inspiration I get from profiles of other colorists. I have many subscriptions, I follow many wonderful colorists, but for today's video I selected my probably top 10 or top 10 plus 1 colorists. Let's start from a wonderful profile of Edita. Unfortunately, I don't know names of all colorists, but I can recognize each and every of them because everyone who I selected for this video has its unique style. Look at a wonderful color combos of Edita. Look how skillfully she masks all black lines how wonderful looks her background. I also like her idea that she sorted all her pencils according to mm, colors, uh, mixing various brands. I believe that she created all her backgrounds using color pencils, so it requires a lot of patience, but in the end everything looks absolutely magical. I selected for this video colorists which uh, possess probably skills which I don't have, like doing the whole background with pencils or masking black lines or mm, creating some amazing color combos which I simply can't imagine for myself and which look absolutely beautiful or which can turn very simple image into masterpiece. For example, I love to look how Edita works with books of Maria Trolle. You know that for me to color pictures of Maria Trolle is quite difficult, so I love to look at other works in this book. But we are going to the next profile. Black Henry is absolutely amazing for her works with dark color. I would say that she is a uh, master of dark and rich colors. Look at this picture, what she was able to create from the uh, very simple page from Johanna Besford How to Draw Inky Wonderland. I think that it's almost unrecognizable, but this contrast between black, turquoise blue and orange colors, it's amazing. And the uh, attention to the details, amount of details which she always add to her pictures. It's always amazing. Look at another work. It's from Mili Marotta book and level of creativity here is highest. I simply can't imagine how it was possible to invent such idea and also I love all of her color combos. You know that I love to use strong colors, but for me it's difficult to use dark colors and here it's place where I can get some inspiration. I forgot to say that all the names of the colorists which I will mention in this video I will put in the first comment down below. So I hope that you also will go to their Instagram profiles and probably you also will be able to find some inspiration from their amazing works. Another beautiful work from the very simple picture of Johanna Basford. She created this magical room. She is very good at coloring portraits. I can see here many portraits from Katerina Bobarekina portrait book. And I also like to look at her original paintings. Next is Marena Vajak. And I follow Marena from my start of my coloring journey. She color in completely different style comparing to the previous colorist. Her exquisite pictures are filled with light. I would say that her pictures are always full of subtle color nuances, a lot of very tender color gradients. I adore how she colors portraits. I would say that all her girls have silky skin. And look here, she shows us her progress from her first to her latest works. 
I believe that it's in Marena's profile I saw for the first time pictures from Tomislav Tomic books and it's because of Marena I fall in love with his art. She is also a very sweet person. She is admin in group dedicated to Tomislav Tomic works and she is a very helpful person. Again, very sweet. So I love to follow her here and on Facebook also. Next is Van and she has absolutely mind-blowing color palettes. I can't imagine how she is able to combine such colors and to use them, especially to use for portraits. Just look at this picture, it's by Anastasia Koldreva, but look at this hair tone, at this skin tone, at this highlights, color reflections. I can't say how it's possible to combine such colors in such a beautiful way. For me it's impossible, so that's why I love to go to her profile and probably one day I will be able to experiment in this way and to be more adventurous in combining colors. For now I try to get some inspiration from her portraits. She is very good at coloring skin, at coloring hair, and I also like her backgrounds. If you think that your pictures look a little bit traditional and if you want to try something new, you definitely need to go to her profile and to look at her wonderful color combos. This one, from, in my opinion, it's another masterpiece, a wonderful portrait. Next profile is by Gudrun and here I go if I need color inspiration and also background ideas. I would say that Gudrun backgrounds are absolutely magical. I would say that she has unbelievable patience to do them. I think that mostly she creates her backgrounds using pencils, but backgrounds have so many details that I simply can't imagine how long it takes her to finish them. I also like that she colors in the same books which I own, so it's easier for me to get inspiration. She is good at everything, at coloring portraits, at doing backgrounds, at coloring animals, at, at inventing some uh, color palettes. I think that most of all I like her works in Hannah Carson's book, but also when I saw her um, colorings on the toned paper, it was one of the uh, reasons why I also decided to start printing and to start uh, uh, trying to color on the toned paper. From bright and rich colors of Gudrun's works, we move to the profile of another master of dark colors. Oleg Nefedov is a colorist from Russia and he is definitely one of the best if you love dark works. He used a lot of watercolors for the backgrounds and his backgrounds, they are amazing. Such color combos, such... Mm, color nuances and 
Also, he is very good at coloring with ink tens pencils. He also had a lot of uh, drawings from himself and it, they look very professional. His color combos are quite unusual and even if he mostly used dark colors and she creates wonderful um, pictures using dark colors quite often, he also used small bright elements to his picture and in this way pictures look even more stunning. I would say that his style is quite unique. If you love dramatic pictures, if you love to use dark colors or if you need inspiration for watercolor backgrounds, you definitely have to go to Alec profile and probably you will be inspired to switch from light colors to the dark ones. And once again I want to repeat how creative Alec is by adding his own details to the pictures. I hope that you are able to recognize this cat, it's from Magical Dawn by Hanna Carson, but I think that Alec created almost original work from that picture. Next we switch to profile which is full of colors and if I need inspiration for coloring flowers, I always go to the profile of Petra. She is a great artist not only in coloring flowers, but she also created her own coloring book, also dedicated to flowers and various plants. I love everything here. I love her original works on dark paper, I love how she color flowers, I love her subtle and tender backgrounds and of course I love to look at pictures in Maria Trolle and in Kanoka Yegusa books. In Maria Trolle because I simply can't understand how it's possible to create such a masterpieces and in Kanoka Yegusa because I can get something for my own colorings. Petra usually masks all black lines in coloring books, so in the end all her colored works look like real paintings. Look at her subtle backgrounds and tender color combos in Kanoka Yegusa books. Look how wonderful are all the leaves here. I can't imagine how much patience she has to do such a wonderful work on each and every leaf. She used the same colors for all, for all of them, but still they all look different. But apart from using tender colors, she is also able to use a very strong and bright one and these pictures, they are also stunning. So Petra is one of my favorite profiles where I get inspiration for botanical colorings. I started to follow profile of Poh Im from Malaysia also in the very beginning of my coloring journey because she colored in the book about uh, Sherlock, uh, BBC Sherlock and I also have this coloring book and I didn't have any idea how to color it. But the first thing which I was attracted to is how skillfully she used color, uh, subtle nuances of colors. Look at this picture and how many colors she used for coloring wings, how skillfully she does all folds on fabric or folds on the wings. Her shading is absolutely amazing. I think that she was one of the first colorists which inspired me to start using black for shading, which I didn't do in the beginning. I also recommend to go for the inspiration to her profile if you like to color in the books by Daria Song. She has a lot of finished pictures in Romantic Country and also books about Harry Potter. I want to show you also a couple of pictures from Sherlock book which attracted me to this profile and to this wonderful chorus. I'm glad that in my selection uh, 
I've included colors from many countries, so it's very good to see how worldwide is our hobby. I still can't understand how it's possible to color in this way in Sherlock coloring book, and how it's possible to mask black lines, and how it's possible to do portraits in this book. Probably I have to has a second look at all finished pictures but by Poch Im and finally maybe they will push me to start coloring in this book also. Next page is by artist and colorist Betty Hunk. She's a professional artist so we can admire and we can learn something from from her beautiful pictures, from her original art and from her colored works. I'm totally speechless when I look at her works and the amount of details she put into them, how beautifully she color everything. Her animals are alive, her fruits are ripe and shiny and fresh, her color compost for the backgrounds are original and full of color combos, uh, they are hundreds of colors, I would say, or color nuances in one background. Again, it's a work of many and many hours, and when I look at her works, I always say to myself how important it is to work patiently on all of your pictures, to put all your efforts, to pay attention to all of the details and only then you will be able to create something special in the end. Look at her backgrounds here, at her color combos. And again, she does her backgrounds mostly with colored pencils, at least it's what I can say from her profile. And there are so many subtle colors in those backgrounds, so many tiny details, so many, many interesting elements she adds. Unfortunately, we are almost at the end of my top list, but I have another two profiles of Masters of Dark Colors. First is by Fain. Here I love absolutely everything, it's like fairy tale for me. I love how she creates her photos, everything which she surrounds her pictures with. Small elements, but still they create this magical world around her colored works. She's master of combining rich and dark colors. Her backgrounds are absolutely magical, so much creativity, they are unique and I think that if you ha have a look at her works one time, you will be able to recognize them because of their backgrounds, because of this color combo of dark and rich colors in the same time, you will be recognize her works at every moment and even without her signature. I think that she combines various mediums, colored pencils, watercolor pencils, ink tents and even probably watercolors. And you know that I also like to work in mixed media technique. So that's another reason why I admire so much her pictures. And again, because of her original color schemes, color palettes. I would never risk to use such unusual colors and when I go to profiles like her, it's always push me to be more creative, to be uh, more free in my coloring works, to test something new, to forget sometimes about realistic coloring and to be more creative in combining various mediums. This video is 10 plus 1 of my favorite colorist profiles, so the last one is profile by absolutely amazing Yana from Russia. I would say that she is probably one of the best colorists I've ever seen. Unfortunately, recently she doesn't add pictures, new works to her coloring page or 
doesn't create new videos for her YouTube channel, but I hope that she will return to us because she is definitely one of the best. Her watercolor and acrylic backgrounds for me are definitely the best. She also adds a lot of elements, especially to the backgrounds. She tends to use also dark colors and also creates a lot of interesting color combos. But most of all, she is a master of contrast, of doing in the same picture light elements and dark elements and creating these very strong sources of light. So in the end everything has very strong colors, but in the same time is full of light. Everything is alive. There is so much fantasy in her works and also a lot of huge work, a lot of time put into them because she always adds something from herself. And again, what I can say, I hope that she will return to us and we will be able again to get inspiration from her works. And at least for now I can go and I can get inspiration from her previous works. I subscribe to many wonderful colorists, but unfortunately I has to limit myself in order not to create a very long video. So I tried to put most inspiring profiles in this video, but maybe I will do another part about another wonderful colorist. Probably you are already familiar with this extremely talented ladies and gentlemen, but if not, I will put all their names and all their profiles down in the comments. I hope that you will be able to get a lot of inspiration from her, their amazing works. And as usual, I thank you for watching. Until the next videos.